what else is there that is part of that smart warehouse? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Let me just first, just, uh, you know, as a reminder of the automation, because automation is, you know, obviously that ties to the labor shortage. And, um, you know, even just a couple of years ago, you know, it was very common to, to uh, talk to uh, DC managers or logistics executives and automation wasn't necessarily very high on the radar. Today, almost close to 100% of the companies we talk to, uh, even smaller companies are looking at automation of some kind. Now that could be big automation where you've got, you know, traditional sortation systems, but can be very large goods, goods to person systems, um, those kind of things. But it, uh, there's also a lot of interest in, in lighter, more flexible and less expensive technology, things like what are called put walls and a huge interest in automated. Wait, autonomous what's a put wall? What's that? What's a put wall? Okay, so a put wall in great simplicity is a is a structure, uh, a t technique built on a, a structure which is a, a a module with a series of cubby holes or slots. And I could have one of these modules. I could have we have one customer that has eighty of these modules. Um, and what you do is you pick the orders, and then when you come to the put wall, you distribute the order to the to, to the picks. Excuse me, to the different orders that need that product. So I batch pick the product, I bring it either mechanically or manually to the put wall. Then typically a series of lights says, okay, this cubby hole number three here needs one of this skew, put one in. This one needs two of that skew, put two in. This one needs one, put one in. And that process repeats itself until all of the items for a given order are complete within that cubby hole. Um, and then on, at that point, a uh, uh, and that's called putting into. That's why it's called a put wall. It's called you're picking the order in batch, then you're putting it into the put wall, and then around the back side, lights will turn on that indicate this cubby hole is now complete, and the operator comes up and touches a button typically, uh, and that starts the printing of the label and any uh, shipping documentation that's required, and the order is packed and shipped, and and off you go. So it provides a tremendous amount of productivity. Uh, very flexible. You can start small. We had one customer that started with one put wall module, then added eight or nine more because they liked it. Then they added 20 more because they really liked it. Did this all over a couple, three year type of period there. So for any kind of piece picking, especially of soft goods, um, but other product types of products as well, but often driven by e-commerce, e but not only by e-commerce, but any kind of heavy piece picking operation, put walls can be a great solution, but you got to have the right software to right. do it. So you've got that big, like almost a shelf. And you said like cubbies on that, that I push. So I'm putting product through So I got to put, so maybe I walked over and I got 10 different sweater, 10 sweaters that are all the same. And this cubby gets one, this cubby gets one. And, and as I do that, I'm, I'm scanning it or, or it's recognizing that, that it's in there and it's informing the other side of the cubby that when the order is complete, when the order is complete. So maybe it's needs two sweaters and a pair of shoes and that's, that's, correct. that's correct. That's correct. Yeah. So that's just one more way. I mean, what do you call this? That part of, um, that's not super, the, the technology is only part of it. The, uh, the other piece of the cubby, the walking up to that, that's kind of, uh, I could be putting those in bins in the old days, but this is this is putting that on steroids. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, just a new way of doing it, and there's a lot of we'll talk about this actually in terms of you know optimizing materials handling systems because to get this right is not a trivial task. Uh, and I don't want to steal all my thunder from later on, but uh, you know the, the the ability to rapidly turn these put walls, uh, these these cubby holes is the whole key to the success. If it's taking you a long time to do that, you're not getting the throughput that required and probably wasting your time and money. But if you can rapidly turn those by making sure the inventory gets there on time and uh, efficient execution at the wall on both sides of the wall, then you got something that uh, really can drive a lot of productivity. We've got, I don't know what the number is, quite a few customers now that are using put walls. And, um, you know, when we go out to some new customers, we've got some videos that show them an operation and they can, you can tell they're just, you know, really, really interested in seeing how this works. And uh, uh, I think it's the technology along with the mobile robots, uh, that you're just going to see uh, for any kind of e-commerce, but any kind of piece picking as well as well, you're going to see a lot of adoption. Going forward, going forward.